We are also following breaking news this half hour. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, a name that's become quite familiar to a lot of us right now. He has filed a federal lawsuit against Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan. And this all stems from Jim Jordan issuing a subpoena for a key player in Bragg's criminal investigation of former President Trump to testify before Congress. Bragg's lawsuit is seeking to block that, block the House Judiciary Committee from enforcing that subpoena. Let's bring in NBC News investigative reporter Chloe Atkins. Uh, Chloe, can you can you walk us through? It's a little complicated. What does this lawsuit say? Hey, Kate. So this lawsuit was just filed um, not too long ago this afternoon. But what it does is it is intended to keep House Republicans out of the DA's office criminals um, investigation or case, I should say, into the former president, Donald Trump. And in this 50 page suit, and I'm going to read from my notes so I make sure I get it right. But he brings this suit in response to an unprecedented brazen and unconstitutional attack by members of Congress on an ongoing New York State criminal prosecution and investigation of former President Donald J. Trump. So keep in mind, Bragg last week unveiled 34 felony charges against Trump of falsifying business records related to his alleged role in hush money payments. Specifically, they're bringing this suit to bar Jordan and House Judiciary Committee from enforcing the subpoena of Mark Pomerantz's testimony, which they call a unlawful and unconstitutional. Pomerantz was once a leader of the DA's investigation into Trump and later wrote a book about his experience. He has, as in Pomerantz, has indicated previously that he would follow the DA's office instructions not to provide the committee with information or materials related to the DA's office's work. So um, we even heard from DA Bragg also, to in a comment, he says Chairman Jordan's subpoena is an unconstitutional attempt to undermine an ongoing New York felony criminal criminal prosecution and investigation. As our complaint details, this is an unprecedented, illegitimate ear interference by Congress, Kate. All right, Chloe Atkins following that breaking news for us. Thank you, Chloe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.